This tick was pulled off the back of a girl's head. We look at it under a microscope. And sent to the East Stroudsburg University Tick Lab for free testing. And this one is a fully engorged deer tick. It's been attached for the person for more than five days. What's happening here could help thousands of people across Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, we make up 33% of the total cases of Lyme disease in the United States. So it's a really big health crisis in our state. And there's a lot of unknowns when it comes to ticks. The ESU Tick Lab is tracking what types of ticks are in the state and where they are being found. But they need your help. So once you have a tick that's attached to you, you'll pull it off. You'll visit our website, which is ticklab.org. You'll put in some survey information so that we can collect information for our research. You'll get a voucher form you'll print off, and then you'll mail that in with your tick to us at the lab. And then within 72 business hours, you'll receive your testing results. Those results will tell you if the tick that bit you was infected. The deer tick panel will include Lyme disease as well as babesiosis, anaplasmosis, and Poisson virus. And then the dog ticks will be Lyme disease, your Rocky Mountain spotted fever, tularemia, and ehrlichiosis. So it can guide your physician in understanding your symptoms and what testing to get you and what treatment to, die, to give you. Results are already being shared online at ticklab.org. An interactive map breaks it down by county. Eventually, they would like to break this down to the township level and even specific parks. A similar project in Massachusetts had positive results. And they used to be number one in tick-borne diseases and Lyme disease back in 2008 when they launched a program. Now they're not even in the top five. So the program does show to be effective. The ESU Tick Lab received $500,000 in funding from the state. Right now, they will also accept ticks found on animals, including dogs, cats, and horses. The goal is to test around 10,000 ticks this year. With the ABC 27 Investigators, I'm Kendra Nichols.